Good evening, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Please stand and gentlemen, remove your caps for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you, members of the choir. Class of 2023, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our senior class vice president, Miss Adriana LaRue. To start off, I would like to say good evening all and congratulations to all of my peers, most of which I've known almost my entire life. I started off here at Burgerstown as this energetic five-year-old, clinging on for dear life to my parents as they dropped me off for my first day of preschool, rebelling against leaving them and walking into this environment which I've never been before. Although soon after that, I began to really appreciate this place, all of the memories, opportunities, and friends I've made along the way. This huge, unfamiliar place turned into a second home, where I went almost every day for years to come. Now I'm sure all of you guys have a similar story to mine. We all showed up here one day not sure where to start, in a brand new environment with brand new people. I'm sorry to say guys, we're all about to go through that again. But now we will be extending our time outside of Burgestown High School and on to the rest of our lives. Meeting new people and seeing new places along the way. I'm so excited to see where everyone wound up, the new memories you all will make, the new people you'll meet, and the new opportunities you'll have. Everyone's story from here on out will be unique to themselves, and I wish you all the best. Now, before I finish this up, I would like to leave one last thing for my fellow peers. Quality is not an act, it is a habit. This quote originated from the well-known philosopher Aristotle. I wish for all of you to work as hard as you can, doing the best you can, and create a fulfilled and high-quality life for yourselves. It has been a wonderful journey attending here and meeting every single one of you.
Thank you, Adriana. Tonight is a special night for the class of 2023. These young men and women have overcome so many obstacles in every aspect of life. They have shown commitment, resilience, and an unwavering desire that is truly unique for young adults. Thank you to the family and friends of the class of 2023 for your commitment, hard work, and support that have given these young men and women throughout their lives. Your guidance has helped shape these graduates in so many ways. Without all of your efforts, tonight would not be possible. Thank you again. I will remember the class of 2023 for their many academic and extracurricular achievements that they have accomplished at Burgettstown. They have truly represented us with excellence, pride, and success. The growth that I have witnessed since you have entered the middle school is incredible. And all of you will soon have the distinction of being graduates of the class of 2023. It has been an honor to watch your growth and hopefully play a small part in your life's journey. I'm excited for your future because the potential for greatness is unlimited. I see hardworking students who can shape the world in so many different ways. On this stage, there will be hardworking laborers, soldiers, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. Graduates, these are just a few of the possibilities that exist. Have the courage to take the path that you have chosen. You have learned over the last several years that it is likely that there will be obstacles that take you off the path. But how you respond to these obstacles is the part that will set you apart from everyone else and will make you a successful person. Successful people can be defined in many different ways. I think Lou Holtz defines what a successful person is with this simple quote. Do right, do your best, treat others as you want to be treated. I believe if you follow these guidelines, you will be successful in so many ways. Class of 2023, you have made everyone proud in so many ways. I wish you the best of luck in every aspect of life and I'm excited to see what the future holds in front of you. At this time, I would like to introduce our class valedictorian, Mr. Matthew Trojan. Thank you. Teachers, students, families, strangers, friends, enemies. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end, and this beginning is finally ending. From the first steps we took into high school to the final steps we take off this stage tonight, our time at Burgettstown will finally be over. And we made it through one of the most difficult, crazy, and interesting stretches of high school ever seen, going through so much together. We ventured into the unknown of online schooling in a pandemic, some of us watching TikToks, playing games, or just blatantly sleeping in class. We suffered through another presidential election. Um, I won't talk any more about politics. But most amazing of all, we survived genius hour. And now it's over, finished. High school's gone, never to come back. Some of you might be saddened by the thought and get emotional. Others, I already know, they're gonna go home and celebrate. Um, our class always did have split ideas, like, uh, after all. Now lately, Going on a tangent, I've been hearing some talk, some criticism about me being valedictorian from you guys. Asking me things like, how are you valedictorian? Or how do you not know these kinds of things? And to that, I have two things to say. First, I ask myself those questions every morning. And second, I might not know a few things, but I do know one thing. And it's that tomorrow is a new beginning for us. We've always dreamed of finally being done with school, and it's here. We're free to choose our own path in life now. Maybe one path will take you straight to work. Maybe one path will have you power through another 12 years of school to get a PhD. God bless you. And one day, you may think your path has come to an end. Something in your life happened, and there's nothing else for you to follow. But that's where you're wrong. I already said earlier, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. No path ever truly ends. So if you feel like you hit a dead end, you break out your tools and forge a new path, a new beginning. Maybe you don't end up with the career you always wanted or with the person you planned your life with. It's okay, you change course. 
You do your own thing. You make your own way. After all, we are free now. And so, class of 2023, I wish to leave you with this. Take my dumb little metaphor about paths and take it seriously. Because I can, I can assure you that almost every single parent, teacher, guardian, and whoever else may be lurking in that crowd can agree that stuff happens. I'm sure they'll use a more uh, fruity term, but that's what it is. Paths don't always go the way you want them to. Beginnings end, but that ending will begin a new path, a better path, your path. So congratulations to everyone, and thank you. Thank you, Matthew. I'd like to introduce our class salutatorian, Ms. Grayson Murray. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for being here to mark this special moment with our class, the class of 2023. We would not be here today if it weren't for the support and love from our parents, teachers, administration, coaches, and all of you. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. The class of 2023 has had quite a rough beginning to their high school career. We had to go through the unusual circumstance of a past the last few months of our freshman year of school. We then spent our sophomore year being almost completely remote with some limitations extending into our junior year. Finally, at the end, our senior year had us back to a normal way of living and learning. This pushed our class to be the most resourceful and determined group of students to have ever gone through Burkittstown. No one deserves this more than us, and I am extremely proud to be a part of this group. Burkittstown High School has taught me a lot over the past several years. The most important thing I have learned is that while an education is important, it isn't your whole life. Getting one bad grade will not ruin everything you've worked so hard for. You have friends that will help support you when that bad grade does come. The close friends I have made during these years of school have helped define me as a person. They make me the happiest and I couldn't imagine going through elementary, middle, and high school without them. The years I spent in those halls will be greatly missed and I will forever enjoy the memories you all have created for me. But as this is the end of our high school years, a new beginning is arising. We are beginning the rest of our lives. Whether it is straight into the workforce, military, a technical school, a university, or even a gap year, we are back to the beginning. And although it may seem scary, I know my hardworking and ambitious classmates will overcome this just like we did during our freshman year. Instead of saying goodbye to this chapter of our lives, we must focus on saying hello to the bright future that faces all of us. I would like to give the biggest congratulations to the class of 2023 for achieving this great accomplishment. And to all the underclassmen that are here today, I wish you the best of luck and hope you enjoy every single minute of your time at Ferguson. It'll be over before you know it. I'm extremely grateful to have had the chance to speak with you all today and I'm glad I will forever be remembered as Ferguson's first place loser of 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Grayson. Would the class of 2023 please rise? Mrs. Lonick Snatchko, I present to you the class of 2023. I am proud to inform you that they have met the requirements for graduation. On behalf of the Board of Education, I accept the class of 2023 for graduation, and at this time do hereby declare them graduated. Please rise. Matthew Trojan. Grace 
Jason Murray. Shakira Bilal. Taylor Bird. Caden Bonai. Andrew Bradle. Dylan Brown. Trinity Ann Bruno. Jansen Burns Milam. Addison Carnes. Tyler Cody. Danielle Coles. Madison Constant. Mia Cowden. Michael Daly. Madison Davis. Graduates in row one, you may be seated. Graduates in row two, please rise. Brooke Zuba. Hayden Enos.
graduates in row two, you may be seated. Graduates in row three, please rise. Graduates in row three, you may be seated. Graduates in row four, please rise. Jaden Rep. Jacob Strauss. 
Stroud. Michaela Trevina. Philip Vargas. Graduates in row four, you may be seated. We would also like to recognize the members of the class of 2023 who are unable to attend tonight. Alyssa Green, Ian Kearns, Nicholas Lyons, and Jacob Mitchell. At this time, we're going to call the choir back up to the stage. with the class of 2023. Please rise. Members of the audience, please rise. And gentlemen, please remove your caps as Miss Harley Froats leads us in the alma mater. The words are located on the back of each diploma and program. Thank you, Harley, and members of the choir. Members of the class of 2023, you may be seated. Members of the audience, you may be seated as well. At this time, I would like to introduce the class secretary for the class of 2023, Ms. Sage Rossi. Hello, everyone. To end today's ceremony of the 2023 graduating class, I would just like to say how thankful I am to have been able to call myself a Burgess Town Blue Devil. 
Burgesstown has given me a high school experience I will never forget and shown me how loved you can truly be. Not only was I able to have fun with my friends at school, but I was able to experience having the best coaches and teachers that I could have imagined. They pushed me to be who I am today, and I owe a huge thank you to every single one of them. I remember going into my freshman year scared of what was to come, and then I was fortunate enough to become part of another loving sport family when I joined the wrestling team. And my coach gave me the best wrestling season I could have ever imagined. We went to the Hershey Team States that year for the first time ever in Burgestown School history. Thanks to the best coaches, I couldn't be more proud to say that I took part in it and to say that it will always be the most memorable thing to happen to me here at Burgestown. I never knew what I would get when I came to this school, but now I know that I got a second family. I want to conclude today by saying a few words to my graduating class. Wherever you may end up the next year or four years from now, I hope you all do amazing things, and most importantly, I hope you are happy wherever it may be. Never forget to do what makes you happy and have fun, no matter what. If we have learned anything from being a part of our small community, it is that life is short and there is never going to be a perfect time to do something. So graduates and fellow alumni of Burgestown High School, congratulations and don't forget to have fun always. Thank you. Thank you, Sage. With the class of 2023, please rise. Please, everyone join us in another round of applause for the class of 2023. We would like to thank everyone for attending tonight, and once again, congratulations to the class of 2023.